Hi ladies, I'm Danny Watson and welcome back to The Creek, a platform to inspire and empower you to get out of your own way and create a business and life that you love. Now, speaking of lives that we love, I am currently in pretty dreamy location. So I'm in a tiny town called Frigliana, which is just outside of Malaga on the southern coast of Spain. And I'm staying at a, an amazing place called Casa El Torreon. So this is actually the view from one of the balconies at the house. Um, so as you can see, it's absolutely incredible. And whilst I've been out here, I've actually been thinking a lot about how important our environment is on the way in which we work and the success and the money that we're ultimately able to see. Now, one of the things that people talk a lot about when starting a business is about how important it is to surround yourself with women that get it. So the saying goes that you are the product of the five people that you spend your most time with and you need to surround yourself with people who, who are going to inspire you and who are going to lift you higher and for me the exact same thing is true of our environments you need to be surrounding yourself in a place that is going to inspire you and uplift you rather than somewhere that it's going to leave you feeling drained and frazzled now travel has become a really big part of my life and I've made sure that I've built my business around being able to travel as much as I want. And obviously one of the reasons for this is because I love gallivanting to new places and exploring new places. But actually one of the other reasons, and it's a really important one, is because whenever I'm traveling, I find that I am the happiest, fullest, most fulfilled version of myself that I possibly can be. And when I'm this happy person, I am a better person for my clients, I produce my best work and I also find that I manifest into my life more amazing things. So over the past few days I've been able to create some amazing content for my tribe. I've had really powerful client sessions where we've experienced these amazing breakthroughs together and I've also brought in new clients into my business. So I've signed up three new clients over the space of a few days which in money terms actually means that financially I've, I've been quite successful as well. And I really do believe it is because of my environment that I've been able to attract these kind of wins into my life. Now, I totally get that being able to travel perhaps as much as I do is a total luxury, but Believe me when I tell you this, if that is what you want for your reality, that is totally possible for you. You know, there's no reason why you can't make that a reality for yourself. A few years ago, I dreamt of being able to live this life where I was traveling as much as I do and I was you know, frustrated and stuck in a job and I've managed to completely transform my situation by building a business that fits in with the lifestyle that really lights me up. And if I've been able to do it, you are completely able to do it as well. If you're not there yet though, if you're not able to travel when you want, perhaps you are still in a job and you're building your business up as a side hustle, don't worry because there are certain things that you can do to start up leveling your environment now. And I promise you, these small tiny little adjustments can make all the difference in terms of how you work and the success that you're able to manifest into your life. So first of all, my first suggestion would be to get yourself a dedicated workspace. Now, when I first started out, I was didn't really have the best living situations, if I'm being honest. I was in a flat with five other people. My boyfriend and I were living in the living room, so we didn't even have a proper bedroom. And I used to sit and do my work in my bed. And actually what I decided to do for myself was give myself a little dedicated workspace. Now, I didn't have my own home office at the time so whatever space I had was very much limited but I just got a really small little table and I put it next to the window so I was looking out into something you know green and you know nice surroundings and I had you know a little candle I had some flowers there I did whatever I could to make the most of my situation and this is something that everybody can do so maybe you've got your own home office already, which is amazing, but if you don't, make sure that you give yourself your own dedicated workspace. So when you actually come to do your work, it actually feels like a legit business and it will make you feel a lot more positive about the running of your business on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, my second suggestion is to take yourself somewhere that inspires you at least once a week. Now, as I was saying, when I first started my business, I was hustling from a 
a flat in a little tiny room and obviously that isn't a very inspiring place to work but once a week I would make sure that I get out, got out of the house and went somewhere that inspired me. So I love hotels and I love being able to work from amazing cafes. Now at the time I didn't have the finances to perhaps be splashing out on lavish meals or you know drinking champagne whilst I did my work so I pretty much make a whole a cup of coffee cup uh, a cup of coffee last the whole day or you know a glass of sparkling water last the whole day but the important thing was that I was in this amazing location you know whether it was a five-star hotel or some beautiful cafe I mean we've got lots of choice in London that's the great thing but the important thing was I was working from somewhere that really lit me up and a place that was going to keep my vibration high and it's from this high vibe place that you start to attract amazing things into your life now suggestions of where you could go work hotels are always a good option cafes co-working spaces go wherever you can that makes you feel good give yourself permission once a week to get out of the house and go and work somewhere different and i promise you the impact it will have on your business will be absolutely incredible now my third suggestion, kind of similar to the second one, but it's just to get outdoors every now and again. So if you're like me, you can probably spend hours and hours and hours behind your laptop, typing away, doing your work in this sort of hustle mode, which is absolutely great. But sometimes it can lead to creative block. So if we've been behind our computers for eight hours, we don't necessarily produce our best work. We are probably not gonna show up into our client's sessions as the best versions of us for our clients. So one thing that I suggest you to do, and it's a great tip if you want to create content, but you don't necessarily want to be stuck behind your computer whilst doing so, is actually just take yourself on a walk, get your iPhone, get the voice memos on, and just record as you speak. And what I found actually, some of my best content that I've created and some of my best ideas have happened when I've just been you know, out of my normal working space. I've been walking in a park and I've been recording my thoughts and my ideas into voice notes, and then I've come back afterwards and then typed them up. So give that a go and see what kind of amazing content you can create. Now, as I mentioned, I'm currently out in Frigliana, this beautiful Spanish town, and I've created a lifestyle which, and a business rather, that allows me to travel because I know that when I'm traveling, I am super happy. I'm the best version of me that I can be and I produce my best work. If this is the kind of lifestyle that you feel would light you up as well, know that, I, that this is entirely possible for you. As I mentioned, a few years ago, this kind of life for me was a bit of a pipe dream. It was a vision that I had on my vision board. I had a Pinterest board full of all the amazing places that I wanted to spend my time in and I imagined myself working from all of these different locations. And now this is exactly what I've created. So if you want that, you have to set yourself that goal. You have to get that on your vision board and start believing that that is possible for you because I promise you it really is. So spend the next week trying some of the suggestions that I mentioned within this video and see how much of an improvement it has on your well-being, on your happiness and then ultimately on the success as well. Remember we attract amazing things into our lives. We attract the clients, the money, the success. We attract these things when we are in a high vibe place. So make sure you are choosing an and environment that inspires you. Thank you so much for watching ladies and looking forward to catching up with you again soon. Bye!